The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to support all environmental issues, especially those related to biodiversity, due to their great importance in achieving sustainable development goals. On the occasion of the Gulf Wildlife Day, which falls on December the 30th, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah affirmed that Bahrain has made honorable achievements and gains regionally and internationally in the field of environmental conservation and climate change, as well as enhancing their joint cooperation and exchanging experiences in the field of preserving wildlife and biodiversity with countries of the Gulf Cooperation Council. His Highness also praised the efforts made by the Gulf Cooperation Council countries in implementing the agreement to preserve wildlife and its natural habitats, as it designated December 30th of every year to celebrate wildlife with the aim of educating citizens and residents about the importance of preserving wildlife and introducing them to the efforts made by the GCC countries to protect and sustain wildlife and their natural habitats. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah pointed out that the Supreme Council for the Environment shows great interest in the field of environmental awareness and the importance of preserving wildlife and its great role in human life and contributing to projects for school and university students regarding the mangrove plant. His Highness stressed that the various natural reserves that characterize the Kingdom of Bahrain reflect the great interest it attaches to preserving wildlife. The Supreme Council for the Environment has inaugurated the mangrove plant nursery located in the Ras Senad area within the Tubli Bay Reserve in order to intensify natural efforts aimed at moving forward towards increasing the green area and quadrupling the mangrove trees by 2035. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al Msallam, affirmed that the implementation of the East Sitra Town Housing Project represents a new developmental achievement in light of the comprehensive development process and implementation of the Order of His Majesty the King and the Order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Mr. Al Msallam praised Bahrain's developmental achievements and the launch of a vital package of development projects as a result of the collective work and the spirit of Team Bahrain, especially in housing projects to provide the best model for residential services to citizens. He hailed the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning's continuation of the procedures for delivering housing units to the beneficiaries of the Citra Town Project. The chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali Saleh Saleh, highlighted the progress achieved in the field of providing housing services to the citizens in Bahrain over the past years, which is in implementation of the government initiatives and programs that support the sustainability and continuity of providing housing and developmental services. To fulfill the directives of His Majesty the King of providing developmental and urban projects for citizens, he lauded the efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to provide the housing projects and distribute them to beneficiaries in various regions of the kingdom. On the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its national holidays and in the presence of the southern governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Ministry of the Interior, organized a military parade for the southern governorate. On the occasion, His Highness stressed that holding such events aims to strengthen community partnership, national belonging and loyalty to the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness noted that the parade falls within the Governorate's efforts in partnership and joint coordination with the Minister of Interior to enhance the communication with citizens, residents and civil society institutions in implementation of the directives of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. He praised the level of the parade and the existing cooperation and coordination between the Governorate and various security directorates for holding the event.
An implementation of the Directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister concerning the expansion of the afforestation in various governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The goal of the National Afforestation Plan for the year 2023 was achieved in order to contribute to protecting the environment and facing the challenges of climate change. The afforestation plan also includes planting mangrove trees, the annual goal of which was doubled this year to 460,000 seedlings, which reflects the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to make environmental security a tangible reality. The Kingdom of Bahrain p pays increasing attention to the environmental sector through many initiatives, policies and programs that are adopted within various development plans. With the determination of Team Bahrain, the Kingdom continues to achieve its goals for the second year in a row in the National Afforestation Plan as the total number of trees planted over the past and current years reached 310,000 trees distributed across all governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain. This clearly confirms Bahrain's progress in implementing its commitments to reduce carbon emissions by 50% by 2035 and reaching zero neutrality in 2060, which contributes to protecting the environment and facing the challenges of climate change. The National Afforestation Plan also includes planting mangroves, the annual goal of which was doubled this year to 460,000 seedlings as a second phase, 749,000 Mangrove seedlings were planted until the end of November, which is 163% of the annual goal. The Government Service Center Evaluation Program, which aims to improve government performance and enhance customer satisfaction, announced that it has reached the final results of the fourth cycle of 2023. The results of the evaluation program included 71 government centers, of which 18 centers received the gold category and six centers received the silver category since the launch of the first edition of the Government Service Centers Evaluation Program. Until the fourth edition, the program confirms the keenness of the government of Bahrain and all its development paths to devote a policy of excellence and productivity, which it sought to achieve in all its institutions. The evaluation stages depend on criteria set by the National Committee, which was formed with members with field experience in government work to generally supervise the evaluation process, in addition to field trips conducted by the committee to government service centers. An appreciation of the efforts made by government agencies whose services are honored by the Taqim program, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister directed to continue the development paths and enhance them in the spirit of innovation that establishes excellence and efficiency in government services provided to the citizens and urged all government service centers to compete in order to provide government services that meet the aspirations of the citizens in the present and future. The Ministry of Social Development announced the opening of nominations for Her Highne Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award for encouraging productive families in its 17th local edition and its 8th Arab edition, the winners of which will be announced during the month of February 2024. On this occasion, the Minister of Social Development, Mr. Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf Al Asfour, affirmed that the award is gaining importance at the level of the Arab countries as it bears the name of the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women. He also pointed out that Her Highness continued support and care for productive families since the establishment of the award has contributed to its development through motivating individuals and families to enhance economic and social life based on the concept of creative competition, which has contributed to improving the quality of family products and encouraging the society group to innovate and excel in manufacturing its products and finding marketing opportunities for them locally and in the Arab world. After two successful seasons, the first episode of the third season of the reality TV show Be Band, dedicated to entrepreneurs, will be aired on January the 3rd. The program produced by Hope Projects Company, the investment arm of the Hope Fund this season, highlights 41 companies from the Middle East and North Africa in front of a panel of regional investors for the opportunity to receive investment in exchange for equity and strategic opportunities that can accelerate the growth of these companies. The program consists of 10 episodes. Each episode includes four companies from different sectors from the Kingdom of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, and Kuwait, in addition to Lebanon, Jordan, and Egypt.
The National Day Festival held at the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan within, within celebrations Bahrain 2023 has been extended until January the 1st, 2024, following a large public turnout. The Information Ministry announced that the festival is held on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of its national days, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, and the accompanying national events. Organized by the Ministry of Information, the National Day Festival features a rich lineup of artistic and recreational activities and events, as well as heritage markets reflecting important aspects of the authentic Bahraini memory and identity.